Hey YouTubers, good morning, Rob Moffat. Guys, this is such a simple video, I was hesitating to put it on, or even to do it, but I thought, you know what, maybe somebody might enjoy it. Uh, I, I like sardines, and I, I hate throwing out cans and bottles for anything. I'm always trying to find uses. And there's a lot of different things people have made in, from uh, sardine cans on the internet. And uh, the only thing I've been able to come up with so far is just making little containers out of them. This is something that I've been using my camera microphones. And the reason I like it is because, first of all, when it fits in my pocket, it's pretty much crush proof and it holds quite a lot. And it's pretty easy to make the hinge with just plain old Gorilla tape on the outside and the inside, right along there. And it's, it's such, there's, there's, there's no art, there's no, there's no nothing to it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed. Uh, but the thing of it is, I've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of this little box. Another thing that's handy about it is, even though I'm not a, a very good housekeeper, I don't have sardine tins laying around the house. So if I'm looking for this, if I see it, I know what it is. You know, <laughs> it's, it's easy to identify. And it's... Uh, not something someone else is going to say it belongs to them because not too many people carry their stuff in sardine cans. So today I was thinking instead of just adding the black Gorilla tape, I put on the clear Gorilla tape. And instead of using the, the elastic, I just put a piece of really heavy twine. This is a, a little uh, bamboo skewer used for uh, uh, shish kebabs and so on, little bamboo sticks. And you've got the clear Gorilla Tape. And on the end here, I thought I would just put a bead and put a little bit of uh, hot glue. This will be the most interesting part of the whole video. See if I get it on my fingers. <laughs> and we'll pull it in. Well, that didn't work. Oh, it's stuck to my fingers. <laughs> yep, yeah, my work is done. <laughs> uh, let it let it cool off. Maybe I should let it cool off before I start fiddling with it. What do you think? So we'll let it harden, and we'll we'll cut it off with a little razor blade. Beep. <laughs> Martha, get in here. It's that crazy guy. So this is about, my goodness, about, about 16 inches. And the reason I put the little bead on there is because it's easy to take off and because you can grab the end. And that's, that's snug enough. You can make it tighter. This aluminum can be painted. So you could add some designs to it. What I'm going to use this can for is to make just like a little pocket uh, tackle box. Just for uh, freshwater fishing. Just some uh, sinkers and swivels and some little clips. Can we snug that up? Let's see. A lot more tight. So it looks halfway cool. Like I said, you could paint this, put designs on there. I might do that. And uh, it's something to do with your empty sardine cans if you don't want to toss them. I think I have a video that I made about all the things people have done on the internet uh, making uh, things out of sardine cans. I've got 1,200 videos. Sometimes I forget what I have on my, on my channel. <laughs> So guys, that's very, very simple. Probably the simplest thing I have on my channel. And uh, it's just a handy little uh, uh, container you can use for anything. Like I said, this has all of my microphones for my video cameras. And 
This is going to be my chocolate box to put in my pocket. All right, guys. Hope that was some help for you. Put on new stuff every week. Rob's Homemade Life. Take care. See you out there.